In this video, we're going to learn how to control the format of your answer using the TI Inspire CX. First of all, if you have whole numbers, like 6 times 2, you'll get a whole number. No issues there. However, if we look at a number like 6 times 5 divided by 4, it gives us an improper fraction, 15 halves. Eh, sometimes 15 halves is fine, but sometimes the question will ask for you to round to a decimal answer or in a proper fraction. So let's talk about how you do that. Well, let's hit the decimal first. That's easier. The quickest way to hit a decimal is to just hit Control Enter, and it will put it in the decimal approximation. Easiest way to do it is again control enter. Now, another way is to put a decimal point in your answer. If you do that and then hit enter, it will also give you 7.5. There is a third way by using the menu, but I don't see how anybody would do it because it takes so much longer than just control enter or uh, putting in a decimal point in one of the numbers for your answer. So let's say instead you wanted a proper fraction. So how do we get a proper fraction? Well, you're going to have to go to menu, select number two, go down to number seven which is the fractions tool, and select number one which is proper fraction and then you're just going to enter in the expression that we are working with 7 times 5 divided by 4 and then if you hit enter it will give you 7 and 1 half which is the correct answer now we can also see let's give you another example let's do 2 divided by 3 and let's take that to the 10th power. And, and we have uh, 100, excuse me, 1,024 divided by 59,049. It shows it as a proper fraction. Now, if we hit Control Enter, it will give us the decimal approximation. Now, what happens? if instead of to the 10th power we go to the 100th power it will give us the the fraction but it's not in a very meaningful form so if we select control enter again we will get it in scientific notation form 2.545 times 10 to the negative 18th which is much more user friendly and so we've seen how to change an answer in TI Inspire CX from a decimal to a mixed fraction to a improper fraction. You should be able to um, control the output. It will make your use of the calculator a lot better. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions, see your teacher.